Now, floods across Thailand in recent weeks have affected nearly 300,000 people. While authorities are still assessing the full extent of the damage, the agriculture sector is bracing for a hit. May Wong reports from Chayapum, one of the hardest hit provinces. At this time of the year, 55-year-old Siriwan Khan Chayapum would normally be preparing to harvest the rice she had planted next month. But the flood that inundated parts of Chayapum province since the end of last month has now made it impossible. The farmers here only have one harvest a year. Being unable to do so this year meant they need to figure out how else they can make some money or at least try to get a catch to feed the family. You may think that it's a river that you see over my shoulder, but that's where you're wrong. That used to be dry land. That used to be a rice field. Farmers were able to walk across this entire area and drive their tractors on it. But the flood has now turned it into this current state. Now, just to give you a perspective on how deep the water is, here you go. I'm told that if you walk further deeper inside, the water levels will be much higher. In this single location alone, at least 300 farming households have already been affected by this. The hard work that all the farmers have put in over the last six months have now turned into waste. Almost half of all the agriculture land in Chaipum province has been flooded. Agriculture is the key sector here with most of the produce channels for domestic consumption. 48-year-old Pailin Kumkai Nam, who has been farming rice for his whole life, will lose all his income from the grains this year. During the last 2011 major flood, he received a total compensation of some 12,000 Thai baht or some 400 US dollars for his plantation when it was destroyed. <laughs> It's not just the agriculture sector that's reeling from the aftermath of the flood. Storekeepers in Chaipum City are also facing losses. The Chaipum Business Chamber says almost two years of pandemic have already caused local businesses losses of at least 50%. Up to 30% of enterprises have shuttered permanently. This flood was another blow they didn't need. เหมือนกันเราจะขับรถเนาะเราก็ลองจะออกตัวหลังจากที่โควิดมันมันมันไอ้นี่เราสตาร์ทเครื่องแล้วนะครับกําลังจะเข้าเกณฑ์หนึ